Hey folks, so I picked up some lots at auction as well as picking up a box of stuff that I bought off of Facebook. I uh, met the person in the same city that uh, I was picking up the stuff from auction. So I'll show you uh, the box of stuff at the end of the video and I'll just show you all the auction stuff right now. Uh, picked up several catalogs. Excuse me, from the 50s. Um, quite a few. These are the order forms, apparently not catalogs. So not quite what I expected. Um, yeah, I was hoping for catalogs. So these aren't quite what I was expecting. These are check order forms, technically. So, yeah, not catalogs. So, goofed on that one, probably shouldn't have bought those. I think they cost me 15 bucks or something like that, so not too bad. Didn't lose a lot. But, I also got uh, some Iroquois Whimsies, some Victorian era beaded Whimsies. Uh, 1904, uh, uh, scissor holder from 1909. I think that's probably what that's supposed to be. And a picture frame from probably about the same, about 1900, 1905, something like that. A uh, little bit worse for wear. This one's got some damage on this end. Uh, this one's actually pretty decent. It's a little smaller than I expected, actually, but uh, there was no idea of size on the image, unfortunately. But anyway, and this one's missing a little bit here, but... They came relatively inexpensively, about, I think, $10, $15 a piece as well. So I'll do just fine on those. And underneath them is a hand-knotted rug. Um, again, not in the best of condition, but it was 15 bucks, And I figured I'd like to do a little bit of research on it. Uh, these sorts of rugs can be worth some serious money, despite condition. But... Uh, Better condition, obviously, the better money. But I figure this would be a good candidate to maybe do some research on, maybe do a video on, on the research of this particular one. But it is a hand-knotted rug, as you can see. So very cool. Um, Persian, probably, I suspect, but I don't know for sure. I don't know a lot about rugs. But uh, anyway, could be a cool video coming up, maybe. We'll see, or maybe I'll leave it for a winter project, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, then got a bride's basket here. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't read the description, and there is a little bit of damage on it right there. And I did note it in the description, so that's on me. I should have checked, but uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, did hit a garage sale on the way there as well, and got a lamp chimney no big deal but uh, still uh, got several bottle caps KO orange and Pepsi's paid five bucks for that little lot of bottle caps um, I'll still make money on those though and I uh, got a couple bags of jewelry um, let's see we'll maybe go through it here um, I'm thinking, I was hoping that the one in here, actually I got to open it up, hang on. All right, we got it all dumped out. Um, nothing special other than this one. Um, it turns out it is Bakelite. That's what I was hoping. Um, it does have that odor that it's supposed to have. I'll double check it with Semi-chrome, uh, I was a little bit concerned because I've had one that looked identical or near identical, not literally identical, but very similar, that was not Bakelite. So I'll test it with semi-chrome, but I'm pretty sure this is because it has that odor. And the one that I had initially didn't have an odor at all. Uh, but the rest of this stuff is just kind of costume junk jewelry that I'll just put in a a lot on Etsy or something. I'll just throw it in with a bunch of other like jewelry. Just costume stuff. And then got another bag. Let's 
see our jewelry. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, kind of a costume cameo brooch. Might get 10, 15 for that. Um, that one's nothing special. Again, nothing special. Whoop. And I was hoping maybe these were signed, but they're not. This one's blank, so that's probably a $15 brooch, unless it's Sherman or something, but I don't think so. It's not quite the right quality. So, um, yeah. And the rest is just kind of costumey stuff. There's another, it's an older costume brooch, but again, just nothing special. So anyway, and those I think cost me five or seven dollars, something like that. So not a lot for the chance that there might be something decent in there. And then got a this uh, amplifier right here. As you can see, it's a Golden Classic 15 watt amp. So not a real powerful amp, but. Uh, for the 15 bucks that I paid for it, uh, I should make some money on it, I would think. Uh, we'll see. Looks like it's been opened, actually. I see the screws missing. So, hmm, that concerns me. But we'll see. Um, again, it was 15 bucks, so not too big of a deal. And then, uh, we've got some posters uh, down here. Now, these posters, what I'm going to do is lay them out and show you hang on so these are polish propaganda posters um this one was printed in the u.s and uh, apparently like i paid 35 for the lot of three posters here and apparently this one alone is 400 or so something like that um maybe more so I'm going to have to probably send it to an auction house to actually get that. But we'll see. I'll uh, see how it goes and uh, just do a little more checking on it. Um, if it was more than 400 I'll throw that up on the screen just to let you know kind of what it sold for previously. But I paid 35 for the lot. So there's this one here. They're obviously from the 1930s. This one matching basically the other. Um, this one's a Joseph Pilsiduski, something like that. And then we've got another one that's just a, more of a scene, kind of a calendar top, more than likely. That's what that one is. But for $35, I figure I'd take the risk and see whether this one turns out to be marketable. And then we've got the box of stuff. So what I'm going to do is unpack the box and show you. So here's what the box contained. Uh, seven insulators. Now, some of you may find these boring. Some of you may be quite interested. Um, these particular insulators are from the Hudson Bay Railway. So that's the line in northern Manitoba very short line under 700 miles so yeah uh, not common but picking up seven was quite nice um, I had to pay five dollars a piece which wasn't a big deal to me um, I was hoping they were gonna all be mint but they're not some do have chips so what I'm gonna do is price the ones that have chips at thirty dollars a piece and the mint one's probably 45 a piece. So that's where I'm going to go with that. Um, I think that's probably realistic. Uh, they could be worth more than that, significantly more possibly, because they are scarce enough. But I'd rather just move them along. So, yeah, that's the plan anyway. I'll do a little bit of digging first, and we'll see um, if there's any comparables out there. But... Uh, probably not going to be a lot of comparables but uh, Hudson Bay Railway like I said is fairly scarce there's probably lots of them up there but getting to them is probably a very expensive endeavor 
so it's just nice to get these anyway that's it folks thanks for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks